Hello, welcome to Dash 35's YouTube channel. Today we're covering the Mini Educator and how to uh, pair a car. So, for instance, it's a lost, stolen, broken, um, and you need to get another receiver collar. I'm going to show you how to pair it up. It's uh, fairly simple. But it's important to note beforehand, before we do this, uh, this is the new Mini Educator. It has a single pin in the charging port and if you want to if you have an older model what you want to do is look at it and make sure it's a single pin or this is a dual pin so if you can see the difference between these two so this is the old one two pins single pin is a new one this is improved because you don't have issues with dual polarity and same charging times. So make sure you have the old or new mini educator before you order another receiver collar. And preferably from DAS35.com. Uh, give us a call and or um, I'll have a link that takes you to the receiver collars. If you need to replace it, you can have a choice of the new or the old one in a drop down menu. Alright, here we go. So we get a new receiver collar, we want to pair it up. First thing you want to do is make sure, this is on all the round um, transmitters, just make sure the rheostat dial is on zero, it means it's turned all the way, the red lines in front of you, uh, in, in front of the uh, transmitter itself, and it's all the way. And then all you do is unlock it first. We're at zero. Unlock it. You push down on top. One dog starts flashing. It goes to zero. Then you hold the magnetic on off switch. Just turn it on. And then watch it blink after about five seconds. It's blinking. You hit your red button, then the black button. Red, black. And repaired. So that's how easy it is actually to add a receiver collar. So we want to up the ante. We want to make a plus system. So we buy a receiver collar from DAS 35. Just uh, take this off real quick. Like this. And we thread this on. All right, cool. So, yeah, we got this going. So here's a dual receiver. Nice, huh? Gives you more power, uh, fuller stimulation. Um, so, dog, so if you have a high drive dog, you get the fuller stimulation, you get more response. So we have one dog paired up. We're going to do the same thing to pair up the, the second collar. So we're going to unlock it. See it flashing one dog. Make sure the reset dial is at zero. We're going to put on and off magnetic switch on. Wait five seconds. It's flashing. Red button, black button. Paired. So, so both of them light up. So now we have a dual receiver. How sweet is that? Uh, you can add as many collars as you want, or many receivers to the collars you want, but I mean, two is plenty, trust me. Um, so there you have it, how to add a receiver, how to make a, uh, a plus collar. And it's that simple. That's the beauty of uh, the mini educator. And uh, actually you can do this to all the e-collar uh, technology. Um, models you can have make your own plus systems it's fairly simple and um, works really well so there you have it the mini educator how to add an extra receiver collar how to make a plus out of it from dash35.com please visit us we offer uh, special discounts on all e-collar technology uh, remote trainers uh, accessories anything you need uh, we'll have it we want to be your one-stop shop 
Uh, my name is Kevin, and uh, you have a wonderful day. <laughs>